Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know that we bought a four-wheeler a few weeks ago uh, to go riding with our buddies and things like that. And today we're actually going to be going on a poker run. We've got a good group of guys. I think there's going to be about seven machines going for a ride with us. And if you aren't familiar with what a poker run is, uh, they've got them for boats, for motorcycles, for four-wheelers. Basically, there's a pre-marked out trail with seven different checkpoints. You get a card at every checkpoint, and at the end of the ride, whoever has the best hand wins some kind of door prize or something like that. So most of you probably know what a poker run is, but for some of, the, some of you who may not be familiar with what they are, that's what it is. Usually it's for a good cause. Today, uh, there was a gentleman who passed away a couple of months ago in a side-by-side -side accident, actually and all of the funds and proceeds are going towards his family, so it's for a good cause. Now, I don't want you to get your hopes up that I'm gonna be doing anything too crazy today. I have been described in the past as vanilla, okay? So, um, I've got some buddies here who are a little less vanilla than I am. They're the ones that like to do the wheelies and go through the deep mud. I'm not gonna be doing any of that, but I'm hoping to get some good video footage of them doing it. They've got some Can-Am XMRs and some Polaris Sportsman 850s and some pretty gnarly four-wheelers, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna be doing today. We have our first casualty, Can-Am Maverick Trail 1000. So Tim, what happened here? Uh, center a little too hard on the first hole of the day. Not a smart decision, but if you look in here, this is a banana shape. Oh shape. no, that's not good. But I have extras. And that's your tie rod? Yes, I do have extras. Yeah, Boy Scout, come prepared with extra tie rods. I'm assuming this is not the first time you've had this happen. You would be correct on that assumption. <laughs> So here is our riding party. We've got a Can-Am Outlander XMR 570, 
Polaris Ranger 900 XP, Polaris Sportsman 850, then we've got the CF Moto, we've got a Polaris Sportsman 500, we've got an Outlander 1000 XMR2 up, and we have a Honda Rancher 420. So while we were waiting, we got some footage of people hitting that mud hole. And in the meantime, Tim was able to switch out his tie rod and he's got air going in the tire right now. So we're gonna be back on the trail here in about two seconds.
Yeah, this is miserable. All right, so we ended up finishing the poker run off camera because towards the end of the day, it started raining. I ended up finishing out the day with two pair, uh, nines and fours. Not a terrible hand, but also not anything that's gonna win. But the thing that surprised me the most was the turnout. I've never done a poker run before. I was going into this expecting 100 to maybe 150 people that would show up. There was over 500 people there. And I'll tell you what, after the last 18 months, it was really nice to be able to gather in large crowds again and kind of be surrounded by other outdoor enthusiasts. The other thing that really impressed me was my friend's ability to change his tie rod in the middle of a poker run in the middle of a field. I guess the old saying holds true. If you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough and you better be able to fix stuff. That's probably why I ride a little bit more on the vanilla side because I know that I would not be able to change a tie rod in the middle of a poker run. So I'm just better off not breaking one to begin with. But anyway, that's gonna about wrap this one up. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below if you wanna see some more ATV trail riding videos. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. <music>